Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, dear students around the world. Welcome to your new English YouTube channel and classes. English course level 1, A1. Lesson 69. In today's lesson, we are going to continue studying the rules of verb plus ing, as I promised you in the last lesson. Let's see. By the end of this mini lesson 69, you will have focused on, learn, known, learned and practiced the following objective. Rules of verb plus ing. Action verbs. So, as I said in the previous lesson, that the first group, we add ing without any problem. For example, speak, speaking. Drink, drinking. Eat, eating. Let's see group Number two, verb plus ing. Verb plus ing is called in English present participle. It's not past participle because past participle is something else. It's called present participle. Don't confuse these two participles. Rule group two. Verbs with one E at the end, what do we do with verbs that have one E at the end? We drop, we delete the E and add ING. I repeat, rule group two, verbs with one E and not if you have two E, for example, C, we have double E. So C in, no problem. But if we have one E, let's see. So, verbs with one E at the end, we drop, we delete the E and add ING. Let's see examples. For example, have. So, we have E at the end. So, if we want to add ING, we need to drop, to delete the E. Having having have having having so remember having is without e ah, remember it having is without e because students when they want to add ing they just add ing no so have it's having is without e have having having let's see the second verb come coming coming so we drop the e we delete the e if you write coming with e it's not correct come coming coming remember that coming is without e let's go to the next verb give Giving, giving. So remember that giving is without E. Give, giving, giving. So all the verbs that have E, we are going to drop to delete the E. <clears throat> Take, plus ING, we drop the E. We delete the E. Taking, taking, some students pronounce it tacking, no, it's not tacking, taking, because the verb is take, I-N-G, taking, taking, take, taking, taking. Let's go to the next verb. Close, closing, closing. So this word, it's, it can be an adjective. If it is an adjective, we pronounce it close. If it's a verb, we pronounce it close. So here it's close, closing, closing. So without E when we have ING. Let's go to the next verb. Lose, losing, losing. So, as I said in the previous lesson, that we don't pronounce G. 
losing losing remember losing is without e let's go to the next verb invite inviting inviting remember that inviting is without e and some students write it with double t no it's just one t invite inviting inviting let's go to the next verb make some students pronounce it mak no it's make plus ing making <coughs> sorry making make making making let's continue bake baking baking bake baking baking so as you see without e smoke smoking smoking without e smoke smoking smoking let's go to the next verb shave shaving shaving shave shaving shaving let's continue hide hiding hiding hide hiding hiding let's continue write writing so students they pronounce right but they, when they okay the plus ing they pronounce it written no writing write writing writing i repeat write writing writing so we have w is silent so now because we are going to move to the third group of uh, verb plus ing and we are going to see a rule but before we see the rule we need to know the vowels and the consonants why because our rule depends on the vowels and consonants we are going to see so to remind you that we have five english vowels five letters so the vowels in english are a e i o u let's repeat after me the english vowels are a e i o u so these are the english vowels we need them huh? now let's see the english consonants so the vowels we have five vowels and the consonants we have the rest 21 letters so the consonants are b c d f g h j k l m n p q r s t v w x y and z or z so these are the english consonants so let's go to the rule number group three so rule group three verb verbs ending in a consonant so the consonants are b c d etc to z so if we have a verb that ends with these letters and before it there is one vowel we double the last consonant let's see the first example the first example is begin so what is the last letter it's n n is a consonant or a vowel of course it's a consonant it's not a vowel so the vowels are a e i o u so here we have n so n is a consonant and what do we have before n we have i it's a vowel and before i we have 
a consonant so it means we don't have two vowels before n so this is the rule if we have a verb that ends with a consonant and before it one vowel we double the last consonant for example here the last consonant is n we are going to double the n begin beginning beginning begin beginning beginning let's go to the second verb sit so what is the last letter it's t is t a vowel or a consonant of course it's a consonant it's not a vowel it's not a it's not e it's not i it's not o it's not u so it's a consonant and what do we have before t we have i it's a vowel one vowel and before i what do we have s s also is a consonant so we have before t one vowel so we need to double the t sit sitting sitting i hope that the rule is very clear so when we have a verb that ends with one consonant and before it one vowel we should double the last consonant sit sitting sitting let's go to the next verb stop what's the last letter it's p how many vowels do we have before p we have just one so we are going to double p stop stopping stopping let's repeat after me stop stopping stopping let's go to the next verb hit how many vowels do we have before t we have just one vowel i so we double t hit hitting hitting hit hitting hitting let's continue get how many vowels do we have before t one e we double t get getting getting let's go to the next slide shut how many vowels do we have before t we have just one vowel u shut shutting double t shutting let's go to the next slide cut how many vowels do we have before t one vowel so we double the t cut cutting cutting let's go to the next slide dig so how many vowels do we have before g we have just one vowel i we double g dig digging digging let's repeat after me dig digging digging let's continue jog so how many vowels do we have before g we have just one vowel o we double g jog jogging jogging let's continue verb run we have n and before it one vowel we double the n run running running run running running let's go to the next verb spin and before it one vowel spinning spinning spin spinning spinning let's continue when we have n and before it one vowel i we double the n win winning winning win winning winning let's go to the next slide spit spitting spitting spit spitting spitting let's go to the next slide swim 
So here we have M and before it one vowel I. Swim. Swimming. Remember, swimming with double M. Swimming. Swimming. Swim. So swim is with one N. M. Sorry. Swim is with one M, but swimming with double M. Remember this. Swim. Swimming. Swimming. Let's continue. Cram. Cramming. Cramming. Cram. Cramming. Cramming. Let's continue. Big. So this is a verb because it's written with E. If it is written with I, it's adjective. It's the opposite of small. But this one, it doesn't mean the opposite of small. So it's a verb. Big. Begin. Begin. Double G. Big. Begin. Begin. Let's go to the next. Plan. Planning with double N. Planning. Plan. Planning. Planning. Let's go to the next verb. Scan. Scanning. Scanning. Scan. Scanning. Scanning. Let's go to the next verb. Rob. Robin. Robin. Rob. Robin. Robin. Let's continue. Rub. Robin. Robin. Rub. Robin. Robin. Blog. So this is the last verb in today's lesson. Blog. So we have G and before it one vowel O. So we double G. Blogging. Blogging. Blog. Blogging. Blogging. That's the end of today's lesson 69. Until then, see you soon in lesson 70 on our two YouTube channels, House School Hassan and House College Hassan. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and good luck.